So we had 12,000 homes burned, at least 12,000 cars burned. A lot of those cars were EVs and Tesla with multiple several thousand pound batteries. So when I was in Altadena yesterday, the EPA and these environmental hazardous cleanup crews are everywhere, getting the batteries off the lots and all the hazardous materials before anyone can even re-enter those sites. So if the home was burning, think about the contents of a home. Every can of paint, WD-40, Lysol, Windex, every chemical that's in that house, vegetable oils, it all got cooked up into the, into the fire, right? Like every contents of that home, the drywall, the furniture, the fire retardants, the computers, the car, the fuel. So mm. this is not a regular wildfire situation. It's more of a chemical fire mm. in the LA region than it is just a regular wildfire smoke situation. How long does this stuff stay in the air? So there's too many factors. The only way to know is doing random soil testing, random dust testing and random air testing. This is the kind of thing to monitor, but definitely months because even if the ambient smoke has moved on, Though, like I said, those homes are just sitting there. I'm concerned for really everybody. What needs to happen now is varying levels of a smoke detox, and it's not that difficult to do. Anyone who lives in LA has some level of detoxing to do in their home. 